Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds of Yosu Lords in the Mad. Now, last time we were just here talking to some people, making friends with uh, Parvati's old friends. Where are we headed? And we'll talk later, yes. Did I do everything I could here? Pretty much. Did I? No. Because. Yes? What? This is not something I can break down, apparently. Nor is that. Oh, because those are what Parvati is using. Gotcha! Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Understood. Alright. So that's where I can fast travel. There's an abandoned outpost. And stuff like that around. Why can I not go back there? What did I do insufficiently to gain access to that opportunity? Also, hello. I know I said I would not steal from all of you, but... Uh, promises, promises. Ignore that. That was... Nothing happened there. I did not at all try to pick that lock, because... I did not at all realize that was a locked door. Okay, so there's some crates up here, which is great, as always. Ooh, that's a couple of things. Yes, I'll take those. It's not like I'm morally bankrupt or anything, which I am. What? No, I said I'm not morally bankrupt. There we go. Ooh. More cute things. Out here, in the open, for me to loot. Hello, Deserta. Keep your wits about me. You too. No, no, no. That door stays closed, Parvati. What happens behind closed doors cannot be seen by people outside said closed doors unless someone leaks the information, and I would assume that Parvati would not do that to me at this point. Because, while I'm not her captain yet, I sure will be. As soon as we... Sort of... Finish Edgewater. And I do mean finish Edgewater because... That's not gonna go well. For them. Where did I put my hunting rifle? Did I get my hunting rifle? Did I equip my hunting rifle? Do I have my hunting rifle? I have two hunting rifles right here. Hmm. But none of the hunting rifles actually supports having a silencer on it, so... They are not what I seek. Okay, so there's some power going on here. I assume this is also where you keep your ouchie ouchie that deals sappy damage. Which we have also experienced over in uh, Age Water proper. Well, the cannery, to be exact. What did you say? I didn't catch that. Like, I hope you complimented my lockpicking skills, but I can't be sure. Alright, well these buildings don't look to be anything I can do anything with, so get back to those in a bit. Porter pistol. Alright, that's not a bad thing. But it's also not something I really need. I'm gonna destroy these hunting rifles because they don't give me what I need. And what I need is something I can put my silencer on. So I can sneaky sneaky sneakily attack everything from a distance and watch them die from a good safe distance. So we can live vicariously and all that. 
Have a good day. I'm gonna go back and get your Zoe. I'm not entirely certain if that is something I should just sprint towards. It might be easy. Also, journal, please put us back on a fistful of digits. What's this? Thomas Kemp? Yeah. Yeah, well, these all seem relatively safe enough. They just uh, need me to pay some attention here and there. I can hear something. Oh, there's primers over there. What is that? That's cave, I think. Okay, let's try this for a change. A moment. What the fuck is N-ray damage? Thank you for killing them all. So I sure don't feel like I was contrib contributing that much. And how often do I get subjected to this uh, N-ray damage? Is this something I need to be concerned about? No, here's the first one I actually managed to kill. With my amazing... Whatchamacallit? That's right. Someone here is a leg short. And someone here is an arm short. That, that's rude. Yeah. They died horrible deaths. I shouldn't make fun of it. But okay, maybe they don't have more orders. But not a lot of fun of it. Okay, so what do we have down here? It came with Alpha. We've discovered North Gulch. Which looks to be a doggo home. Doesn't it? Let's give them the old sappies. Excellent! We have once again leveled up, which is to my liking, because there's a lot of abilities I want to keep uh, increasing, and since when do I have 44 uh, healing items? I, I feel like I no longer need to be quite as uh, careful with not healing myself. Because I started out with at least the plan that, you know, I'm gonna be careful with this. I don't need to spend all my healing immediately, like, that's fine. I can do some healing here and there, and that's all I need. But apparently, no, we have a lot of points available for that. Oh, can I already put... Oh yeah, I can just put points into these directly. So I don't have to up my engineering separately just yet. Though I do want my engineering up as well, so that's... That's sort of not much of an argument. Okay. Let's think about this. Let's give it more of a think tank. Well, Talok, Stealth, and Deck are abilities I certainly want to have. But there's also the fact that these are good things. And 
these are good things and these are very good things so there's a lot of things I want to put points into but uh, let's be fair getting persuasion to 40 this is a persuasion round okay okay uh, and apply this is this is torque level Increase your maximum carrying capacity or fast travel, gravel while being able to do some of that. Sprint speed, banning grid chance, space armor rating. Pack, nah, yeah, I want pack mule. Let's be honest. Wait, cancel, cancel, cancel. I need to apply set change. There we go. And of course, there's things in the journal. That's that's not a pro not an immediate priority. Let's go and get Zoe, and then we can go on and continue hunting. All oh, right, that uh, that's just the, the marker that hey hey hey, you have a finger, you can go trade it in. Because that's what you do with fingers. You take them to the constable. I Came out this far. We've been here before, lass. Hey, Zoe. What I wouldn't do for a Wentzworth. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. In a pile of corpses? Stefan told me about your favorite cereal. So you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. Stefan wanted to watch this with you. I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't say no to my favorite cereal. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Yeah, you'll do, you'll do fine. Plus, it's not like there's anyone else here. You were here just all alone. Ooh, I missed this box. It's a good thing I was sent back to recover Zoe because otherwise I would have completely forgotten about that. Didn't I just like rush here, through here, meet combat and then just not loot anything? Is that what happened? That can't be quite what happened, can it? Because I feel like I probably looked around this... Yeah, I looked around this building. Because this was a non combat scenario, because everything died here, and then I was told that I'm not in a fighty fight anymore. Ooh. Speaking of, I'm still not like I actually managed to loot everything useful. Can I loot this mine, please? That's still a no. Ah, fine. I'm gonna assume that those noises are just from hearing damage. Oh my god, that, that's such a pretty river. Is this why they've been having trouble fishing, by the way? Because they have uh, hot lava pouring into the river. Okay, so I have two options here. Either. No, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the landing site for a moment. Like I said, there's options, but uh, let's be honest. Like, there's one guy that's just uh, in the same place that I already looted once, so we might as well go back there and finish the job. Finish the job actually sounds a lot more like I was actually knowing that knowing the sorting the place, but I was just wondering about, wasn't I? It's the same with the bloody book. Oh, well. I don't believe so, but take your vote for it. Do they have a lookout in the lookout spot now? Because I know they did not before. Oh, hey, look. Our target is wandering up there.
In theory, I could have talked to him first. Maybe. Okay, there's other marauders around. Oh, and apparently walking up here made, made him very aware of me. Okay. Not doing great at shooting. That's better. Oh, Barwati is over there. Let's not shoot Barwati. Generally a good idea. There's a dog over there and a marauder over there. Barwati, I just saw you over there. Why did you get over here? Ah, video games. But yeah, we just got this guy while he's sitting, while sitting down. Like, if I didn't have to collect his finger, this would have been just a perfect job. Classic hit. He hit many stuff. I wish I could do that. I could teach you, but it'd have to charge. I think. On the other hand, it's not much of a milkshake, now is it? When, where did people die? You died here. But apparently, along with your head, you lost everything else. And that's fine. Some matches over here with some loot in them. That's what I like to see. I think I, I got that extra capacity, didn't I? This it feels like I got that extra capacity right now. Because that was a good perk to get. Considering they need to loot everything and leave nothing behind. And while the game allows me to break everything down into pieces so I can repair and tinker with things, it's not like I will always remember to do that. Oh, you're just a. You were all just having naps! Oh, really they sunk on the ground? I'm good. I don't think I even took damage from that boy. Also, I can just tap E. I don't have to hold it when there's only one item there. Like, maybe just spamming E is faster in general? In the majority of cases. I need to practice that a bit. Like, I'm gonna assume that this is where... <gasps> Burps! Ooh! Whose home is this? Oh, for some reason I assumed it more than Marauders. I wonder why. In theory, I could just be heading right right to my objectives and doing all that, but what's the fun in that? When I can just be looting and shooting and tooting and rooting all the way around. Also, this one hat we had. This hat. This hat. Was it this hat? One hat I had, I had like four mod slots. I might be completely wrong. I thought it was this one. But I don't see any mod slots on it right now. Like that. That's how mod slots are s symbolized. So I guess I just mislooked at it while I was editing. Never mind. Oh. At least you have some salve. And bread. Gotta have bread. Hey, hey, can I give you some bread? That almost sounded lewd. 
I'm glad I can't give her bread now. Because... From what I read, apparently... You're a bit of the good old days representation, and that's good. So I don't know if this game, like, has romanceable companions anyway. Oh, this is... Probably looked sealed as well, and I just didn't pay enough attention to it. Oh, hello! What do you have for me? Silver dunk it? Yeah... Ooh... Th those are actually pretty good. And that fucking hell do I have the points for it? I'm gonna grab that just in case. Because I might be able to use that later. And I sure as hell wouldn't mind. Let me sell my junk. And my more expensive guns. Okay. Did it just say it's not the best choice? It's space choice. But yeah, that's essentially... I forgot that was also one of the slogans. I just remembered the one you of you've tried the best, now try the rest. Space's choice! Because that's what the, the guy at the beginning told us about. The one poor slob who shot himself in the gut. Which is not the best thing to do, generally. Not considered the healthy approach. Alright, so we're 20 meters away from our target. And there's a lookout. There was a lookout. So this is like a, a secret tunnel. No immediate signs of mines, which is good because that means we won't immediately blow ourselves up. Okay, that's a doggo. I thought it was lava. That's a Marauder Hooligan. And there's the doctor somewhere. Oh, fine. Let's clean it up. Oh, you already killed me. That's fine. Can I punch you? Punching does deal a lot of damage. Okay, so they're reminding me to repair my equipment on occasion. Also, blood on a stick. I need to take a closer look at that, because that seemed to have Space's Choice. The background, very impressive. <laughs> so sharp, it got some letters out of its own name. Like the name is good, but I don't know if the damage reduction is from the... Like, if it actually is meant to deal that little damage, or if it's from being broken. Ah, uh, shit. Probably just meant to deal that little damage. Fun time sparrow? Well, that sounds like fun times. Because it's the fun time sparrow, which literally says fun times. That's right. Okay, and now we can go and turn a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Uses heavy ammo. Well, nice. But how much does it use per shot? 
It's a heavy weapon. I should not be missing this many heavy weapons. Also, I'm not using melee at all, am I? I'm so used to using melee for everything, but... I guess there's time for a change at times. Back to Edgewater. Space is choice. Okay, uh, first things first. Yeah, let's turn in the fingers. Then we will burn this place down. Well, no. I've never actually been in here. It seems scary from the outside. Was the constable office? Fair enough. Something to report? Uh, I'm here to turn in a bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? This. Gil Antrim. Real name: Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yep. Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Here you go. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Junior Deputy Constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. How did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. That doesn't really answer my question. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Marauders seem to like Adrena Time. Everybody likes Adrena Time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena Time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena Time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena Time. Right, so that's where the, why you have that many marauders about. Okay, there's something else I want What's to ask you. Mind? Uh, never mind. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. There's our friend. Here you are. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. No, that's me. I've got the medicine you're after. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Oh. Never? That's harsh. At least leave me something to remember you by. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. I'm curious, who are you going to give that medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? I'll leave you be. Yeah, that, that sounds fair. Hey buddy, I sold your medicine. You wanna mingle? Go try the cantina. Sorry, but I I gave it down to sell to someone else. You what? But why? I was dependent on you. Does it feel good? Robbing an old man of his last shred of hope? I'm sorry, I did what I had to do. Betray a man in his final hours? Of course. I understand. Hell, I'd probably do the same to you, given the chance. So, you're just here to watch me die, or what? Yeah, I'll leave you be. Oh, also, we do have business in the cantina. I just remembered. 
And this time there's no one watching. And this time there's no longer a muffler. So that's that's quite as impressive. We'll get you open. mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. Uh, I'll be on my way. Have a good night. I wonder if the Desotos will give her a chance Friendly to become a scientist. A weeks back. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Good to know. Well, I want to repair all my equipment. So this one first. Oh, repair all equipped. There we go. Accept. I forgot I had these as well. I can just break them down, I think. Oh, there's a lot of things I can just break down. Yeah, I was about to say something and then I just forgot what I was about to say. I think I was about to... S nope, nope. No, I don't remember anything. It's all lost from my brain hole. Alright, region map. So. Uh, what do we have left on here? We have Die Robot, the Frightened Engineer and a few kindred spirits. The Frightened Engineer... It's not that easy to track down, is it? Because that needs us to recover the last thingy. Transition as well, yeah. Can you imagine? I was attacked by Sprats here. The most friendliest of creatures and they attacked me. Moi. Or do I misremember the location of where I was attacked by Sprats? I don't know. Right, Sprint was a double. Once again, I had forgotten about that. Right, so we're going to the Chiro Thermal Plant. Which, if I remember correctly, recommended that I use electric ammo. Which means using the light machine gun. Well, here's our chance. As soon as I find the um, gate or a door. Can I turn this off? Not immediately. We can handle it. Oh, what are we fighting? Oh, here's a gate. People are fighting right now. Several. Is the answer? Okay, and I know there was one new here as well. Give me a moment to reload. There we go. We found a vending machine. But I also know that, oddly enough, the auto mechanicals here actually mean this. I was deceived by the scout, or what was labeled the scout, into believing that the robot robots were actually friendly. Could I go and arrest Street for trying to murder his own people? Because I'm a deputy now. That's how they, that works, right? Like, what's the point of giving official position within the Spaces Choice company if I don't abuse said power to shut down the place? 
Oh, so here was another entrance. This is where Togos come from. Well, Togos entered the thingy from, anyway. Ooh. Report or assistance. Assistant outfit. Yeah, that's not as great as the alternative. The alternative being the clothes I stole off Parvat is back. Yeah. Oh, a spaces choice card. And a little bit of a terminal. Some security defenses, they are really not really necessary right now. Security locks inaccessible. In keeping with spaces choice company policy, all security locks have been terminated in the event of a major emergency catastrophe event or security breach. What? Why would you clear security logs in case... Okay, fine. Schedule security updates at this Spaces Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security up to update occurred on error date not found. If you're a member of the Spaces Choice security detail sent to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. So... That's... That isn't very, you know... Motivational in... Doing what requested if, you, if the result is gonna be the same anyway. So what do we have here? We have another light machine gun, this time with a diamond quality. And a hunter kit with diamond quality. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna grab that just in case. And, uh, do I want to grab the Mac pick? We've been using them again. Yeah. At least they have a good jingle going on. So they've got that going for them. But as you know, jingles are half the battle when it comes to. stuff. Let's go to the geothermal power plant. Apparently... The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. Oh, thank you. Doing the right thing. Not even a well, the right thing, I think, would be to... Dismantle, dismantle the corporations entirely, but I don't think we have that option just yet. Independent ending, but with actual, you know, making sure people survive, but... Okay, a look office door. What office door? Return to route. Messages from Spaces Choice. Mr. Braden, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget. In your latest quarterly report, please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. So the Spaces Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spaces Choice is not a right but a privilege. Uh huh. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope. The let this letter finds you wealthy after due consideration of your last letter. I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plants remains committed to providing cheap, cost efficient power to the entire region. Regards, Juno Braden Manager. Miss Brayden, we have investigated the claims made against the profitability of the Greater Greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. 
Our offices are currently investigating ways to prevent additional cost saving measures, which will ultimately lead, lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spaces Choice Turp and the Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that the insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, and otherwise extrapolate minutes from this decision. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Thank you for your cooperation. Fun. So they just essentially want to like. Ah, oh, fine, we just put robots in there. Well, that was the first of them. Maybe also the last of them. But was it the last of us? Probably not the last of us too, anyway. Uh, what am I asking myself on right now? Comes now the power. So we are on the mission we're supposed to be on. Oh, the receptionist is dead. So they had one. Then remember, push, 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 push. Access file one. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spaces Guys to Mechanical Engineering Radio Spin Spotting, and I needed the reference. I returned the copy to the repair bay. Excellent. Chaos everywhere, mechanicals gone haywire, gunfire hearing some screams, all low lighting that of someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct the delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you, proud to be a member of Spaces Choice family. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, that went as well as it could have. In fact, this receptionist seems to be missing a head. So while they were writing their report, I guess they got a little bit ahead of themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, another vending machine. What do we have? Some stuff. That's good to know. And when I say it's good to know, I mean I just glanced over it. <gasps> Hello, friend! And you need to forget about it. Oh, well, that's... That's a pretty high. Requirement for stealth. Lock picking given. Unlock door. Oh, right, 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 right. Personal files. Uh, personal lock 79. Shoot the Omnil Security Office. Estenaka, Chief of Security. Chester Higgins again. That hullhead found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before, he's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module, I confiscated it, should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Doesn't sit right with me, companies been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals, at this rate I'm gonna end up chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, can't spoil it every which way, company does stay a safe program to treat us humans like their own. People are unreliable to break down, but an automatic mechanical never will. I know this is right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Worst has happened, mechanicals gone crazy, locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage, gonna make a mad dash for the control room, might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Greetings, Security Chief Estanaka. This is an automated message initiated by the Space's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situation, situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with a nice cold bottle of Surgy Brew. Surgy Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Good. No. At least something's good for what ails us. Okay, well, yeah, probably want to pick this lock. There's Mr. Ouchies and all sorts of good things. Alright, well. Everyone all right? Down they go. That 
There was another marker, was the, this blame beef marker actually. But there's also a marker over there for what I'm supposed to supposed to do. Let's go look at that marker first and then continue down here. Just because this is an object of interest, supposedly. Because if this is just... Like, I don't expect this to be the terminal. Plant status. This access support brought to you by Space's Choice. Two terminal plant operating get 22%. Efficiency and power is being... Distributed to for the Saturna Canary and Botanical Laboratory. Warning safety failures detected. High likelihood of moderate to several raw uh, retiring power. Yeah, manual override is required. So, of course. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. So we're gonna go down there. That's I was expecting to do, regardless. Wait, was there a door? Oh. Oh, that was just a shining light. Which doesn't really annul my... Statement of... Ooh. To be honest. Okay, let's maybe stop breaking my legs every now and then. Oh, hey. Oh, there's another one. I'm not entirely certain if that was what I expected to see. Probably not, no. Okay, there's one switch. Oh, is this the one we sent back? Oh no! I just... Yeah. Okay, so that was just a bad call on my part. Because that was our friend. Also... Nice guess who forgot to quick save? It's me. I forgot to quick save. So we might as well go back there, do the whole... Terminal thing, find out that, yeah, 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 we need to do a manual override, as is standard in these situations. Because otherwise it would be too easy and the whole basement would be just something people would explore. Unless they're, you know, they actually enjoy having fun. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Though, I guess exploring every nook and cranny is not everyone's. Sense of fun? I think that's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. But he's mine. Hello, friend. I need to remember that crouching... Actual crouching is a thing in this game. So I don't... End up, uh, you know, missing important things behind pipes. Okay, that's a mechanical sentry with nothing in it. What's over here? Bathrooms. Hear you, friend. This is Brett Summer uh, laughing. That's fine. That's cute. They're cute little friends. Even then, when they are laughing creepily. I should have put more points into the stealthies, so I could pick up better. Because I know you. Self diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. 
It's the spacer's choice. You made others to chunk you out. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. This is odd, why aren't you attacking Hostile me? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto-mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto-mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Let me get this straight. Do you want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. So instead of shooting this guy, I should have just been like, yeah, you're my friend. Probably the copy of the young, young space sky to mechanical engineering. I think it's for free. I need something to read down the bit. Cool, cool, cool. So we do have a lead on that book as well. Access repair log. Corporate just sent a team of te technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals. Every center in town, drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the space's choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm ordered, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the space's choice family. Space's choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry across Helicon. It's not the best choice, it's the space's choice. Just finished the routine, routine maintenance on our mechanical centers. I found some strange modifications to the logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. Company went through their trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the place not long ago in the plant. Guessing this was work of those visiting technicians. I found the report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Certain company knew what it was doing, all that me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module, time to do a little experimentation. Sounds to me like someone was running an insurance scam. I think that someone was Space's choice. Not the best choice, but it's the Space's choice. <gasps> Here you are, I thought when I heard you laughing. I thought that I heard you laughing. Thought that I heard you scream. What was it? That doesn't that doesn't sound right. Oh. Oh. We don't have a chest as passcode. Okay, well that's a pretty pretty substantial hacking level required there. Folk, if we send power to the veil. Well, I was sort of thinking we would send it no, no, to. No, just leave me alone. What? Where are you? Who the fuck's still alive here? Like, well done, but. Not real. You're not real. If you want to believe so, go ahead. But be aware that do, I do have a little You're automatic friend with real. me. Where are you, buddy? No, 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 just leave me alone. You're not in that box. No, you're down there. Or been down there for a bit. I would expect. Get away! So I'm gonna assume that you've survived on the basis that auto mechanicals can't use ladders. Is that right? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot! Scram! Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. 
I use it as a reminder. Uh huh. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. And what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats? Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Uh... You said you were an engineer. What did you work on? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Right. Was that before or after you became a Sisty Pig Tycoon? Oh, before. Definitely before. Sisty Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. <laughs> that is not something you should be very sad about, missing out on that. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. I can deal with mechanicals. I made this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of the logic points or someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, any idea where I can find the logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. I want to ask you the something. Tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Ooh. Actually, hang on. Forgot what you were going to say? Me too. I'll just excuse myself. Have a good one. I'm glad you don't mind me taking your hammer. I don't exactly know what I'm going <gasps> to... Excellent, we found it. Found part three of the thing. Thomas can have all the smarts now. Thomas can learn how to engineer it almost as good as Parmati. Was that your name? Something along those lines, right? And I keep approaching the ladders from the wrong side and not interacting with them to move up them. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I wanted to go back upstairs because we have just as passcode now. But what we don't have... Modify behavior... Select new mode. Nope. Select new target. Define intruders. Define intruders as spaces choice auto mechanicals. Okay, return to root. But I still don't have. Watch him call him though. Hey, yeah, buddy. One thing this game is certainly missing is the option to pet the sprat. I want to pet the sprat. Pet the sprat. Pet the sprat. Come here, spratty. I want to pet you. Pet the sprat. Pet, 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 pet
Oh well. Well, since we can't pet him, I'm just gonna call it here for now. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time when we will go and redevote power to the deserters, because fuck the corporate machinery that tries to turn nice people like Parvati into mindless drones. Yeah, bye bye!